Hello everyone my name is Srinivas and welcome to my channel Tech Studio 82 please do subscribe to my channel for the upcoming latest technical videos in this video i am going to show you the complete environment setup of oracle database 21c enterprise edition software on windows 11 operating system which includes downloading installing and also configuring with sql developer this we are going to do in four steps in the step 1 we are going to download oracle database 21c enterprise edition software from the official website that is oracle.com and in the second step we are going to install the downloaded oracle database 21c enterprise edition software on windows 11 operating system and in the third step we are going to navigate in the installed oracle applications and in the last step we are going to first download the latest version of oracle sql developer and we are going to configure system user and and also we are going to unlock hr user and scott user okay before moving to the first step there are some prerequisites firstly make sure your pc is installed with winrar software this software is required to extract the software zip files and secondly make sure you should have internet connection with good bandwidth in order to download the software file okay then let's move on to the first step that is download in this download step i am giving you two options the first option either you can directly download from the google drive link which i have provided in the below description for this you don't need any oracle account and in the second option i am going to show you how to download directly from the oracle official website for this you need to have an oracle login account let me show you open google in any web browser and search with the keyword oracle 21c enterprise edition download hit enter on the screen you can see the google search results the second link you can see oracle database software download just click on this it will direct to the oracle official website this is the oracle official website you can see oracle database 19c just scroll down here you can see oracle database 21c this is latest 21.3 enterprise edition which also includes standard edition 2 this is for the linux operating system and this is for the hp and this is for the microsoft windows operating system 64 bit so i am going to download this one just click on this you need to accept the oracle license agreement just accept it and just click on this download button now it will direct to the oracle account login page you should have an oracle account in order to download this software file if you don't have an oracle account create account just click on this create account you need to create your oracle account trust me creating an oracle account is as simple as creating a gmail account so i am already having an oracle account i'm just going with the sign in here i am going to give my credentials i have given my username and password just clicking on sign in see your download got started the file size is 2.5 gb just click on show all you can see the download progress it all depends upon your internet bandwidth connection it may take some few minutes finally your file got downloaded successfully just click on show in folder it will direct to the downloads folder this is my downloads folder and this is the oracle 21c software that we have downloaded so far now let's move on to the next step that is installation in this installation step we are going to install the downloaded software of oracle 21c database enterprise edition software on windows 11 operating system let's start installing go back to the downloads folder this is the software now we need to create one folder in c drive just click on the this pc and c drive and create one folder right click new folder i'm naming it as oracle 21c okay now go back to the downloads folder now we need to move this file from this location to c drive location oracle 21c double click and move it here okay the file has been moved from downloads folder to c drive that is oracle 21c this is the location okay this is the base location that we are going to give at the time of installation right now we need to extract this file right click winrar extract to this folder your extraction process is in progress finally we have extracted the folder this is the extracted folder double click on this scroll down here you can see the setup application now we are going to launch this setup application as an administrator right click select run as administrator whenever you are installing any software on your machine i strongly recommend you to run as administrator just select run as administrator sometimes you may be getting pop up for the user control access just click on yes on the screen you can see launching oracle database setup wizard on the screen you can see oracle database 21c installer we need to perform 16 step this is the first step which is a configuration step here you can see two types of installation options one is create and configure a single instance database and the second one is set up software only we are going with the first one just click on next in the second step we need to select system class we have two options one is desktop class and the server class under the desktop you can see choose this option if you are installing on a laptop or desktop class system so i am going with the desktop class just click on next we need to specify oracle home user we have four options over here use virtual account use existing windows user create new windows user or use windows built in account i am going to create a new windows user account 
username will be tech82 and the password i am giving as 1234 and the confirm password 1234 you can ignore this the newly created user is denied windows login privileges if you are not installing with administrator privileges then you will be getting a different error over here so once again i am requesting you to log in as an administrator before you start installing this software we are good with this just click on next this is very very important step guys please focus on this perform full database installation with basic configuration this is the oracle base default oracle base so let it be i am going with this one and this is a software location and the data file location you can see database edition we have two options enterprise and uh, standard edition i am going with the enterprise edition only and this is the global database name orcl this is important step just please focus on this global database name orcl orcl is nothing but sid we need to set the password the password that we are going to set will be for sys, sys admin and for the other admin users i am giving the same password in the previous step which we have given 1234 and the confirm password 1234 please remember this pluggable database name orcl pdb these three steps are very important. At the time of configuration with SQL developer, these three steps are going to play a major role. Once again, I am requesting you to take a screenshot of this. Please remember the password. Please ignore this warning and just click on next. Well, you can see a pop up over here. The admin password enter does not conform to the Oracle recommended standards. Are you sure you want to continue? Yes. Click on yes. You can see it is performing prerequisite checks and you can see the summary over here. These are all the global settings and this is the database information. Here you can see Oracle system identifier that is SID ORCL and this is a pluggable database name ORCL PDB. Please remember these two settings and also remember the password. Now we are going to click on install. Just click on install. On the screen you can see the installation progress. One by one it will start installing. You can see a pop-up window, Windows security alert, Windows Defender firewall has blocked. You need to allow access. Just click on allow access. The installation process may take 10 minutes of your time. So please have some patience. Finally, our installation got successful. You can see the configuration of Oracle database successful. And here you can see Oracle Enterprise Manager Database Express URL. You need to copy this URL. I request you to take a screenshot of this. Once you copy this URL, click on close. Now let's move on to the third step that is navigation. In this step, we are going to walk through in the installed applications that is Oracle SQL plus shell terminal and Oracle admin web GUI interface. Open any web browser. I am opening Google Chrome and paste the URL link in the URL. Hit enter. Here you can see your connection is not private. Click on advanced and here you can see proceed to local host, which is unsafe, but it's okay. Just click on this proceed to local host. This is the admin web page login. Before you enter username and password, please bookmark this page. Click on this bookmark. Just bookmark this tab. Just click on done. We have successfully bookmarked. Here you can see the bookmark. Whenever you want to revisit this page, just click on this. It will automatically open this web page. Now let's give the username and password. Username is system and the password is 1234. For now, container name, let it be blank. Just click on login. This is the admin page. You can see Oracle Enterprise Manager Database Express or CL. This is the database home. I'm just going to give an overview of this. This is the status and this is the performance. Here you can see the resources, the SQL monitor and the incidents. In the performance, you can see the containers. You can see ORCL PDB and CDB root. These are the two containers. I'm going to show you this in SQL Plus. This is the GUI administration part. Now I'm going to show you the SQL Plus command shell terminal. Let me show you. Click on start button, click on all apps, scroll down to Oracle, just drop down this. Here you can see SQL plus, click on this SQL plus. On the screen, you can see the SQL plus command terminal. We need to give the enter username. Username is system and the password is 1234. Hit enter. So you have successfully connected to Oracle database 21C enterprise edition. Now I'm going to check the container name by giving this command. Just hit enter. Here you can see the container name cdb dollar root this is the overview of sql plus terminal now let's move on to the final step that is configuration in this configuration step we are going to configure system admin user and also we are going to unlock hr user and scott user all these activities i am going to show you in sql developer let me show you how to do that first we need to download sql developer from the oracle official website here i am providing you two options first option in the below description i have given one google drive link just click on that you can can directly download from my google drive without any oracle account the second option i am going to show you now how to download sql developer from the oracle official website open google in any web browser and search with the keyword sql developer download 
Hit enter. On the screen, you can see the Google search results. The first link you can see SQL developer downloads. Just click on this. You will be directed to the Oracle official website. Just click on. This is the Oracle official website. Here you can see SQL developer. The latest version is 22.2.1. Now based on our operating system platforms, we need to download. Now here you can see different types of platforms, nothing but operating systems. I'm going to download for Windows 64 bit with JDK 11 included. Just click on this download. You must accept the Oracle license agreement. Accept and click on this download SQL developer button. Now it will direct to the Oracle account login page. You should have an Oracle account in order to download this software file. If you don't have an Oracle account, create account. Just click on this create account. You need to create your Oracle account. Trust me, creating an Oracle account is as simple as creating a Gmail account. So I'm already having an Oracle account. I'm just going with the sign in. Here I am going to give my credentials. I have given my username and password. Just clicking on sign in. On the screen, you can see download got started. The file size is 444 MB. Click on show all. You can see the download progress. It all depends upon your internet bandwidth connection. It may take some few minutes. Finally, the SQL developer software file got downloaded. Now just click on show in folder. It will direct to the downloads folder. This is my downloads folder. And this is a SQL developer software that we have downloaded so far. Now let's extract this file. Right click, WinRAR, extract to SQL developer. You can see the extraction progress. Extraction process got completed. Now I request you to move this file from this download location to C drive. Select this extracted folder from the keyboard. Press Ctrl X that is cut. Select the C drive, paste it here. Control V. Let me highlight you one point over here. SQL developer software is a standalone software. We do not need to explicitly install this software. Just double click this SQL developer folder. Scroll down. Below here, you can see SQL developer application. Every time we need to launch this application. Just double click or right click and open. On the screen, you can see Oracle SQL developer is opening. If you are getting any pop-ups, just click on no. This is the Oracle SQL Developer welcome page. Now I am going to configure Oracle Database 21C Enterprise Edition using SQL Developer. First, I am going to create a connection for system admin user and also I am going to unlock HR user and Scott user. First, I am going to create a new connection for system admin user. From the connections tab, just click on this plus icon. This will create a new connection. On the screen, you can see a pop-up window, new database connection. We need to define the name. Let's give a meaningful name, Aura underscore system. Now we need to give system credentials, username, system. And for the password, at the time of installation, at this point, we have given password as 1234 for all the admin related users. I'm providing the same password here and the role, let it be the default role. If you drop down, you can see this DBA, all these users, but I'm going with the default role. Click on save password. Let it be the default connection type basic and we need to provide the connection details host name let it be the default local host port 1521 and for the SID it is XC but we need to give the service name as ORCLPDB ORCLPDB this is a pluggable database at the time of installation at this point I requested you to take a screenshot of this and also I said that these three parameters that we are going to define it's very important at the time of SQL developer configuration this is the pluggable database that we need to provide here here we need to provide it at the service name ORCLPDB just click on test connection here you can see the status success. Click on connect. Here you can see the Oracle connection or underscore system has been successfully created for system admin user. Now let's query the database by giving this select statement, select star from all users, run this statement. You can see the query result. These are all the default users and also check the connection name by giving this statement show con underscore name. Execute this. Here you can see connection name ORCLPDB. In order to unlock HR user and Scott user, you should be connected as ORCLPDB. Now let me show you how to unlock HR user in Oracle 21C Enterprise Edition software. Before we start unlocking HR user, first you need to download this HR RAR file. In the below description, I have given one Google Drive link. Just click on this. You can download this human resource RAR file. This RAR file contains HR related SQL script. We are going to execute one by one. Let's extract this rare file. Right click WinRAR and extract to human resource. You can see extracted human resource folder. Now we need to move this file. Right click, cut C drive, open this Oracle 21C, open this DB home folder, double click on this demo folder, double click on this schema and here we need to paste. Right click and paste. So far we have moved from downloads folder to this path. Just double click on this human resource folder. These are all HR schema related SQL script. Once again I am telling you this is the absolute path. Now let's open hr underscore main dot SQL script with any text editor. I'm opening with notepad plus plus double click. Here you can see hr underscore main dot SQL script. Now scroll down. Here you can see create table sequences constraint. These are all the SQL scripts. First take out the comments for all the SQL scripts. Now we need to give the absolute path over here. Go back to the human resource folder. Just select this path, right click, copy and paste it over here at every line. Control V. 
for all the lines we need to paste please make sure at the starting of the every line at symbol should be present save the file now go back to the hr folder this is a folder copy this path right click and copy and paste it in the sql developer now we need to give this hr underscore main dot sql hr underscore main dot sql and at the starting of the line we need to give at symbol in order to execute this script now let's execute this statement here you can see a pop up we need to specify password for hr as parameter 1 i am entering value for 1 as hr click on okay now we need to enter value for 2 specify default table space for hr as parameter 2 now i am entering value for 2 as users click on okay here you can see enter value for 3 specify temporary table space for hr i am giving as temp click on okay now we need to specify password for sys as parameter 4 at the time of installation we have given 1 2 3 4 the same password that we need to give here over here just click on okay and we need to specify log path as parameter 5 this is the log path in the below description you, you can find this just click on okay and we need to specify connection string as parameter 6 local host 1521 or cl pdb which is a pluggable database just click on okay in the below section you can see the log so pl sql procedure successfully completed now let's check the hr user is available or not execute this select star from all underscore users you can see the query results just scroll down here you can see hr user this indicates that we have successfully unlocked hr user now we are going to create a oracle connection for hr user go back to the connection tab and click on this plus icon for creating a new connection you can see a pop up window new database connection here i am going to give name as hr we need to define the username and password in small case hr and password hr let it be the default role and to save the password this connection type let it be the default one but service name we need to give as orcl pdb which is a pluggable database click on test connection here you can see the status success this username and password you need to give in lower case only please don't forget that just click on connect see we have successfully created hr oracle connection using sql developer on the screen you can see the hr sql sheet i'm just querying the database select start from tab execute this here you can see the default tables i'm going to query employees table select start from employees just run this step here you can see the employees data in this way we can unlock hr schema in oracle database 21c enterprise edition software now let me show you how to unlock scott user first i am going to show you the location of the scott sql script click on this pc go to c drive open this oracle 21c folder open this db home folder double click on this rdbms click on this admin here we need to search for the scott sql script from the keyboard press alphabet yes just scroll down here you can see scott.sql script this is a scott sql file copy the absolute path right click and copy and paste it in the sql developer give backward slash and give scott.sql this is the absolute path of the scott sql file in order to execute this line we need to give at at the starting of this line once we are done just execute this run statement You can see the script output connection created by connection script command disconnected. Let's check the database. Select star from all underscore users. Execute this statement. Search for the Scott. Hold down. Here you can see the Scott user. This indicates that we have successfully unlocked the Scott user. Now I'm going to create a separate connection for Scott user. Go to the connection tab. Click on this press icon new connection. You can see a pop up window new database connection. We need to give a name. I'm giving as Scott and the username is Scott. By default the password is Tiger. T I G E R. and the service name we need to give orcl pdb which is a pluggable database and let it be the default settings click on test here you can see the status success click on connect here you can see a connection has been created for scott user here you can see a scott sql page now let's query the database select star from tab run this statement here you can see the default tables bonus dpt emp salgrade let's query emp table select star from emp run this statement you can see the query results of emp table these are all the rows this is the data that is present in emp table in this way we can unlock scott user in oracle data best 21c enterprise edition software and also we configured scott user in sql developer that's it guys thanks for watching my video if you like my video please subscribe to my channel and also don't forget to press bell icon please like and also share my videos to your friends and also please provide your valuable comments on this video your comments are highly valuable thank you guys